Crohn's is a chronic inflammatory disorder that affects the digestive system. It can affect anywhere from the mouth to the anus. Crohn's disease may cause painful ulcers, breaks in the organ lining, which leads to swelling. It affects both males and females, and once the disease begins, it can switch between periods of activity and periods of remission. In the beginning, small sores appear and eventually transform into the ulcers which plague the organs of the digestive system. Without treatment, these ulcers may become deeper and more stiff and swollen. The intestines and bowels, or any other tube-like organ, may become obstructed and backed up. Another outcome is a chance of infection through the ulcers that may spread throughout the digestive system. Obstruction, intestinal bleeding, and abscesses are some of the possible complications of Crohn's disease. If blockage is left untreated, it can lead to a rupture, spilling very harmful waste throughout the body cavity. It is also possible to get some skin conditions such as erythema nodosum or pyroderma gangrosum. These can lead to nasty infections. Firstly, there are a few different types of Crohn's disease depending on where it hits in the digestive system. If it's in the colon and small intestine, possible symptoms are abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea, and fistule and pre-rectal abstinences. If it's the small intestine or the end of the small intestine, the symptoms are abdominal pain, diarrhea, or obstruction of the small intestine. Because doctors don't exactly know the cause of Crohn's disease, it's hard to determine any amount of prevention. Some do believe that it may be caused by some bacteria, though this isn't proven. Crohn's is suspected in patients with fever, abdominal pain, and tenderness, diarrhea, with or without bleeding, and anal diseases. Blood tests might show a rise in white blood cells suggest an infection or inflammation. They may also show low amounts of red blood cells, low blood proteins, and low body minerals because of the diarrhea. There are a few different options for treatment. There are drugs, nutrition, and or, in some cases, surgery. Different drug treatments include anti-inflammatory drugs, cortisone or steroids, immune system suppressors, antibiotics, anti-diarrhea, and fluid replacements. As for surgery, it is used either to relieve symptoms that do not respond to medical therapy or to correct complications such as blockage, perforation, abscesses, or bleeding in the intestine. Surgery to remove part of the intestine can help people with Crohn's disease but is not a cure. Surgery does not eliminate the disease and is not uncommon for people with Crohn's disease to have more than one operation as inflammation tends to return to the area next to where the diseased intestine was removed.